Hi, Community Family Church and everyone listening in via social media. It's so good to spend time with you again today as we unpack um, the devotional series about um, not underestimating the middle. And um, during part one, we spoke about um, what the middle is. And um, during part two, I spoke with you about the first thing that I want you to remember when you're going through your middle, and that is to remember God's promises. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about not letting the process of being in the middle break you. We're still venturing through Joseph's life and um, examining the middle um, season of his life. And, um, you know, while we're in the middle, God does some of his grandest, most important work in us, if we'll allow him to. It's in the middle where we have to navigate disappointment, unmet expectations, the pain of letting stuff go to make room for, for, for the new and, and for what is to come. So Joseph's middle was a little bit of a roller coaster. Um, after Pharaoh witnessed that God was with Joseph and that he had a lot of favor with God, Pharaoh put him in charge of his entire household. Genesis 39 from verse 6 states that Joseph was very handsome and well built. And um, after a while, Pharaoh's wife began to notice these features. And day after day, she, um, she tormented him all you know, tempted him to sleep with her. And Joseph consistently refused. And um, Pharaoh's wife got a little bit fed up with that. Um, no, and she couldn't, because she couldn't get what she wanted. And um, ran off to Pharaoh, told a lie about Joseph. And Pharaoh then subsequently put Joseph in jail. Again, the Bible says in Genesis 39, verse 20 to 22, that Joseph found favor with the Lord, even in the prison. Um, and I believe that the process of being in the middle did not destroy Joseph because he maintained a right heart attitude. He refused to sin against God and God's standard was what he strived to live by. And God honored that. The middle didn't go away because Joseph was a good guy. He still had to camp out in the middle for a little bit to interpret three people's dreams while he was in jail. Now, one of the most important ways for us to maintain a right heart attitude is through praise and worship. Psalm 22 verse 3 says that our praise gives God a throne to sit on. Just think about that for a minute. If we want to make room for God in our middle, all we have to do is praise him. And yes, it's not something that you might feel like doing when you're in the middle of a very sticky or difficult situation. But if we want to see ourselves in the middle from God's perspective, we need to put aside our stuff and make room for him and honor him as our dad who loves us and who wants nothing but the best for us. Sometimes process of going through the middle can break your heart because the only way to go to overcome the middle is to go through it and when we praise God he protects our hearts so that the process of the middle doesn't break us thank you very much for spending time with me today and um, I just like to pray for you father God thank you so much for this beautiful day thank you for your unending love for us, Lord. Father, thank you that nothing can separate from your from separate us from your love, Lord. No situation, no circumstance, and no middle, Lord. Father, I pray that you'll bless your people with your presence today. And um, Father, that you will help us to praise you no matter what. Thank you, Jesus. I pray this in your name. Amen. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Dear Father God, Today I surrender my life to you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and for raising him back to life so that I can spend eternity with you. I am now your child 
You are now my Father, and your Holy Spirit now lives in me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I love you. Amen. So I will call upon your name And keep my eyes above the waves When oceans rise, my soul rests in your